Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming back. Today I'm going to be playing again. I have some 50-50 masks that I got from a local store in a town not too far. It's just a single layer. It's 50% cotton, 50% polyester. I bought them before and I didn't like the way they sublimated. And then when I went to buy some other products at the store, I met a lady and she was buying like 200 of them. And I was like, you know, it's not 100% polyester. She said she used them all the time. She told me to increase my pressure the next time I made some. So I bought a few more and I thought I'd play with them today. So join me in playing with them. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and also um, do the notification bell. Hit the notification bell so the next time I upload a video, you'll get a notification and you can come and join me. So I'm going to use this sublimation mask. And here are some of the old ones that I did before that I didn't like. It came out really, really light. And then I also did this one as well. So I'm going to play around. I got my press set at 400 degrees and I have this little pressing pillow, this little foam piece I got at Joanne Fabrics and I just cut it up and I have a bunch of them and I just cut them up and use them for various projects. So the items that I'm going to be supplementing today, I have a 7720 Epson printer that I converted into a sublimation and since it's not a real sublimation printer sometimes it gives me errors and when it gives me errors it stops in the middle of my printing when I'm printing things so these are some items that it stopped in the middle so I'm just going to use them to play with today so I'm going to take my half of print and I'm going to put it on this little mask and I am going to cover it up. And I'm going to only use a half of this paper. And then maybe I'll fold it in half again. And I will maybe not. Maybe I'll use the whole paper since I don't I want to cover this whole piece of foam here. So yeah, that covers the whole piece of foam. So we're going to sublimate this at 400 degrees or whatever my heat press fluctuates because if you've joined any of my other videos, you know my heat press, it fluctuates up and down, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and sublimate it and we're going to see how it comes out today. I have a, a lot of pressure because one of the things that the lady told me was that maybe I needed to increase my pressure. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm increasing my pressure to see if it will sublimate better. And then I have a couple of other images and a couple of other masks that we're going to play with if this one comes out well. <laughs> um, some of the other items that I like to sublimate on is I'll buy these towels from the Dollar Tree and I will sublimate onto these towels just different um, things. So I want to put um, the baby onesies. I have to print out some more papers, but I want to print out some of these um, design and put them on these towels um, to go along with those onesies. So we have 11 seconds um, left. I hope you guys are having an awesome Saturday. It's Saturday. I'm tired. I have school work to do. And um, yeah, but we're done. And let's see how it came out. Whoa. I think my little sheet is... Let's see. Got a lot of the ink off the paper. Let's see how oh, that did come out a lot better with pressing. 
um, but it did look like it left a little line of demarcation. Um, maybe if my paper was all the way full, it wouldn't leave that mark of demarcation, but it did leave a little mark. So I'll see if I can stretch it a little bit. But that did come out pretty nice. So let's do another one. I have another mask. And I'm going to put that down. And I'm just going to press the mask a little bit. Just kind of flatten it a little bit. So just put a little bit of pressure. I'm not going to even put it down for the timer to start. I'm just going to like press down a little bit to flatten the mask. So that's nice and flat. So I'm going to take this half a Nipsey Russell or Nipsey Hustle and put that down on there. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to press this one for 60 seconds and see how it comes out so that did come out um that did come out really really nice so maybe i'll go and i'll play around with some more um still mass mandate in california where i live um still not going into restaurants or anything and we're in october the weather's starting to change um so um even if Places are open. You have to wear a mask everywhere and anywhere um, that you go. So I'm just, I play with mask and I have a lot. Here are some of the other ones that I created. Uh, my nephew is a huge, huge Kansas City Chiefs fan and he has been since he was a child and he is 25 years old now but when he was five he was a Kansas City Chief so I created him some Kansas City Chiefs math from some images that I downloaded from Google and sublimated using Silhouette Studio and we are almost done so I'll show you the rest when I press the next one so let's see how Nipsey Hustle came out And I'm not using a Teflon sheet because every time I use a Teflon sheet with my sublimation, it seems to get on there. And I don't want it on my Teflon sheet so when I go and press other stuff. So I'm using paper to do it instead. That came out, a lot of ink came off of that paper. That's pretty good. And I think the lady was right. I think you do just need way more pressure on these types of masks because that looks like it's sublimated really nicely really nice so i have one more to do so the ink is kind of like on my pressing pillow a little bit so i'll just turn it over because I can always put a piece of paper on it. Well, I'll just put a piece of paper on it to cover up that part. And then I'll put it down. Let's see if I can use this piece of paper. Because I like to flatten my I like to flatten the mask before I um, press on them again. So I'm going to flatten this just a little bit. I'm not going to put the pressure down. I'm just going to hold my weight on it a little bit. Get it a little flat. And then I'm going to sublimate this picture of these three beautiful sisters. go so I'll continue to show you some of the masks that I created so I created 
I downloaded from Google um, some KFC emblems and I created this mask for my nephew and he loves Patty Mahone, the quarterback for the Kansas City. So I um, got some pictures of Patty Mahone or Patrick Mahone and I create added that and then I use the logo as well and it was just one K KC logo and what I did was I just put it all over the paper and then I just sublimated it onto one of those mass templates that I showed and I also created some masks for a cousin of mine who's in a motorcycle gang not a motorcycle gang but a motorcycle club and um and so I created this the picture wasn't really good and so um but I did it anyway and he was appreciative he really liked it so you can do pictures um yeah and silhouette studio is a free program hold on let's get this and see what this comes out to be pretty nice it's not as dark as the other ones but the picture didn't start out it's super hot <laughs> it the picture didn't start out as um, dark either but it's sublimated still very nicely so yeah I think you can use those um, those masks but the only thing about them is they're single layer but in a pinch um, if you have some of these in your purse or wallet or whatever, they work for you to go into any building in California because you just have to have on a mask. It has to cover your mouth and your, you know, your nose and your mouth. And so, yeah. So I may go and pick up some more of these and um, advertise for them to see if people want to get them. So hopefully that will help if you have something that. 50% cotton and 50% poly. Just know that it will um, sublimate. Not sure how it's going to wash or anything like that. Maybe the next time I do a video, I'll wash some of these and then I'll show what they look like. Or maybe I'll just do a separate little quick video of um, washing and drying them after they've washed and dried. Just to come back to show you what they look like to see if any of them fade. So we'll go over what we did today. This is 50% um, poly, 50% cotton, a mass, single layer sublimation. So that's the first one, or that's the last one. <laughs> um, we did the Nipsey Hustle one. And which other one did we do? Oh, and then we did the one with the half of the head of a girl. So my sister wears a mask everywhere she goes. So I'll just give her some of these for extra, you know, protection. She doesn't care. She's just going to wear a mask. And you better wear one too if you're around her. <laughs> but these are just some foam things that I use for pressing pillows from Joanne Fabric. I think it was maybe a half an inch. And I'll just cover it and continue to use it. So... Hopefully that helps you if you get some uh, masks that are 50-50. Just the key, I think, is um, getting a good image and also um, applying enough pressure. So I think those are the key things to getting that done. So that will end our video for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so the next time I upload a video, um, you'll get a notification. Thank you for watching my channel. God bless you, and you have an awesome and an amazing day.